Hey guys, Bad, I'm back again with another comic book haul. This is an uh, eclectic um, haul. Uh, got some yard sale books, uh, some dollar books, and at the most, uh, two dollar books. And um, I got these a while back. It's like I said, I'm just trying to get caught up. Uh, showing some books that I picked up since my basic absence from YouTube. And, um, well, let's get started with um, these uh, couple of books were all yard sale books. I was actually traveling uh, while I was at work, and I saw a yard sale. And um, I slowed down, and I actually saw uh, on the table a few comic books. And um, so I stopped, went out and took a look at them. And these are the books that I picked up. Got them for a dollar piece. Uh, they're not in mint condition. Uh, uh, most of the time you go to a yard sale and you see a few books, that means that the person probably was a, a passing collector or whatever. And, you know, basically a reader. And they didn't really take good care of the comics. So uh, for a dollar, I couldn't pass them up. It's a beautiful Gil Kane cover for Action Comics, uh, 553. I think he did the interior, too, uh, dealing with um, the Forgotten Heroes. Actually, I'm out of order here because I have also was issue number 552 uh, with the um, Forgotten Heroes. And at the time, this book uh, commanded a little premium. I don't know now if it's still holding up. But um, a lot of the characters, like I said, Forgotten Heroes were used back in Silver Age and whatnot. And this is like their first reemergence in the um, uh, Bronze Age. Picked up Thunder Bunny, issue number one from Red Circle. Namor, number one. John Burns uh run on Namor, which was fairly good. Uh I always like John Burns. John Burns seemed like he could take anything and turn it into gold. Um his uh understanding of comic book characters kind of is reminiscent of the way Kirby and um Lee and uh the older um writers were um he really had a quality about how he did his work that you knew he was really when he was involved in it he was involved in it and um he's just one of my favorites found another copy well dark crystal number one uh issue number one was there in humanoids number one from star comics Another a bunch of star comics. Uh, I got Silver Hawks number one. You can see the uh, slight off-center uh, cover, and it's a newsy. Planet Terry, another copy of that issue number one. Play on words there. Planetary, planetary. Uh, Defenders of the Earth. Number one, I remember that cartoon. I used to watch it on Saturdays. Picked up Bizarre Adventures. Uh, issue number 34. And the last from the yard sale that I got was Crawl number one. Which I didn't have when I was glad to get. Now, these are the dollar books that I picked up uh, in my travels at comic book shops all over. It's a great um, cover of Wonder Woman versus Kyle Rainier, Green Lantern. If you excuse me, you hear my voice, I'm a little under the weather. I got a little cold. Issue number 73. Found a G.I. Joe yearbook. Number one. Another copy of Green Lantern, number 54. I run into these a lot. Uh, 
the controversial uh, woman in the refrigerator comic. Some beautiful, a beautiful um, J. Scott Campbell, Gen 13, issue number one cover. <clears throat> beautiful Arthur Adams, Danger Girl special. I run in this pretty often to the uh, Apocalypse Now uh, uh, homage cover for the Incredible Hulk number um, 46. The second Blood Sport Adventures of Superman number 507. Found two copies of the Superman 10 Cent Adventure. Uh, dealing with the Supergirl that's supposed to show up in uh, the um, Flash movie. Annual 13 for Batman from 1989. Detective Comics 608, first appearance of um, Anarchy. Wonder Woman number one. Wonder Woman number 38. Beautiful George Perez cover. Number 49. Another beautiful George Perez cover. This was hot for a second. Uh, Avengers West Coast dealing with um, Wanda. Uh, Scarlet Witch uh, turning evil. Captain Marvel, number one. These I got, uh, these few books here I got from my local comic shop. I think I paid $3 a piece for these. Uh, Captain America, Cat Wolf in Uncivil War. All new Captain America, number two. And number three, all Sam Wilson, Captain America, number 16. Captain America and the Mighty Avengers, number one. Ezreal, number 28, with a Joker appearance. Matt cover for um, Justice League of America number on um, 45. Starlight issue number four. Didn't have this cover. Variant cover. Uh, 2099. Spider Man 2099. I'm um, trying to see issue number 38. This is a, a variant issue. With the 2099 version of Venom. Now, these were the $2 books that I picked up. Another Jonah Hex, number 53. I love this cover of Ratucci. Um, great looking cover. Transformers, number 3. It says number three in a four issue limited series, but the limited series continued on and actually was the main series. So uh, this has the appearance of Spider Man in a black costume, Dr. Afra, number 18. Like I said, this is an um, eclectic um, bunch of books here. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. Madam Mirage. Uh, don't know the issue number on this thing. Number one. Okay, it's issue number one. Beautiful cover. That's what really drew me in. Uh, beautiful Greg Gorn cover. I think this is... Uh, Armor Hunters? I'm not sure. But this had a uh, XO. You can cut the mask out um, off the cover. 
I definitely picked up, I picked up extra copies of this book. This book is not being talked about, but I, it's a great book, Proctor Valley Road. Picked up two more copies of that. I think this book is a sleeper. One of the books that, uh, there's so many books of uh, this type. Um, ever since um, Something is Killing the Children, if you look now, every book now on Wednesdays that come out now, all of them are like in that type of, of vein. And it seems like that's the hot ticket right now. Uh, the uh, superhero genre is basically um, pushed back as far as um, prominence now. It seems like the independent books with the uh, mysterious storylines and the horror storylines and all that, that seems to be like the, the new emerging uh books to get the go-to books and uh but there's so many of them a lot of the really good ones get lost lost in, in the shuffle i think proctor valley road is one of them hawk and dove number one from the new 52 um excuse my phone uh this is a second printing Second printing of uh, Rob Liefeld cover. This was a book I picked up because I needed it in my my run for Shazam, Jeff Johns Shazam. And speaking of Jeff Johns, ah, it's criminal to me how nobody's really watching Star Girl. I mean, if you're looking for a, uh, a DC show that's pretty much spot on with the characters. And the amount of characters that they're showing, and they're showing you uh, uh, the JSA, Infinity Incorporated. I mean, it's it's uh, mind-boggling what this show is doing, and it's not getting any any real recognition. And it's one of the best um, superhero shows out there that's on TV. I mean, yeah, it has this little bet where it's more on uh, um, for teens or whatnot. But as far as uh, superhero accuracy uh, and uh, the costumes, I mean, it's amazing how this this um, show. And you can tell Jeff Johns is putting his heart and soul in it because the lead character, Stargirl, is patterned after his sister who passed away. So he has a personal um, stake in this show and is showing with the love that he's giving these characters and how he's tying it in with um, DC lore. Uh, I, I just find it mystifying how Stargirl is being overlooked. And uh, uh, maybe because it's a CW show, and, you know, CW has a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Um, but if you're not watching Stargirl, you're really missing a treat, especially if you're a DC uh, person who likes... Uh, the JSA, all those older characters, and, and Infinity Incorporated. It's a great, great show. I mean, they're just introducing characters, and the way that they're doing it, it's it's so tied into the comic book. It just really amazes me. But um, let's get back to the comics. Generations. I picked this one up, issue number one, with um, Iron Man and Ironheart. White Fox, number one. Disney Comics in 3D, number one. Non Player, the fourth printing, issue number one. This book, when I saw it, I was like, man, I got... It's uh, Superman issue number 50. <clears throat> and what really got me was when I saw at the very top, historic engagement issue. And I was like, man, I got the, the rare comic. And then when I got home, I looked at the bottom. And right here, instead of having the barcode, it had uh, 50 issues, which made this one... Not the one. If you ever see this book, 
and it has the historic engagement issue at the top, and it has the barcode at the bottom. It's a rare comic book. It's not that many out there. Even though this one is kind of semi-rare, it's not the one that's, that's worth um, a pretty good bit of money. West Coast Avengers, number um, 43, dealing with WandaVision, some more of the WandaVision um, stuff. Here's an overlooked WandaVision um, tie-in book, Avengers West Coast, uh, annual number 7. It has a secondary story dealing with Wanda, uh, dealing with the fact that Vision is gone and she lost her boys. So um, if you're into the WandaVision stuff, this is a definite pickup if you can find it. Avengers West Coast, um, annual number seven. Seven. <laughs> oh, boy. G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes and Ninja Force, number 138, still in a poly bag. And it has a, a G.I. Joe trading card. Pick these up whenever I see them. If I can get them for a dollar, I don't pay them that much more than that. Uh, Generation X, number 21, and number 20. Like I said, a lot of this is out of order. And the significance of this book is it has a, a Howard the Duck appearance. Planet of the Symbiote. Spider-Man Super Special, number one. Couldn't believe I found this for $2. Wait a Move these out of the way. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, try to go for a little spill there. Conan 241, the Todd McFarlane cover. This book brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, as uh, back when I really was into collecting comic books, and uh, Superboy and Legion of Superheroes was my jam. Uh, Started out with the Cockrum run on Superboy, into the Grell run, into the um, this run with Rubenstein. I uh, did a couple filler issues in between, then into the Giffen era of um, Superboy and the Legion. Uh, I loved Superboy and the Legion. That's another um, series that they just destroyed. <laughs> uh, DC has destroyed it. Um, and it's a shame. But this issue was when Ultra Boy was accused of murder and Legion tried to bring him in. And you actually saw just how powerful Ultra Boy was and how even though he can only use one power at a time, his power set is um, amazing. He's actually, when he's at super strength, he's actually stronger than both Bonnell and Superboy. And when he uses his Ultra Vision... He can actually see through lead. Um, and just a beautiful, um, great book. The action sequences in it are um, great when they're trying to capture him. Picked up another copy of Wonder Woman 329, um, final issue. Found uh, Superboy number seven dealing with um, the milestone, him teaming up with the milestone characters. Uh, Icon and um, uh, Static. Iron Man 258 dealing with the Armor Wars. That's um, picking up a little um, notoriety. Death Head 2, issue number 2, uh, featuring the X Men. Avengers 394. This one, um, Wasp. Apparently was injured, and Hank Pym did something to her, if I remember correctly, and she turned into that. Uh, didn't last long. <laughs> Picked up some Whisper, issue number 30 from First Comics, and issue number one from Capital Comics. Which I think is her first appearance. I could be wrong. Iron Man, uh, issue number 255. Found a free comic book day. Avengers. All new, all different Avengers with um, Miles Morales, uh, Sam Alexander, and uh, Kamala Khan. West Coast Avengers, number 21. 
dealing with uh, Dr. Pym and Moon Knight. Captain America, number 350, when Cap becomes Cap again. Found Amazing Spider-Man, number 344, first appearance of Cletus Cassidy. First appearance of Speedball. And Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number 22, another copy of that. Another copy of Iron Man 228 versus the Captain. Ah, great issue. This is where Captain America finds out Iron Man has been hunting people down over they're using his stolen tech. But Cap is not happy about the way that he's taking his tech back. And they kind of get into a little argument. And Cap, like, throws a shield back at him that he had developed for him. And their friendship is really on the line, which seems to follow them. <laughs> Those two are like the best of friends, and <laughs> they always argue. Avengers number one, all new, all different. Avengers number one. Masters of the Universe, issue number three. You know how I am about this book, Robin and the Girl Wonder, 126. Robin, actually, 126. Whenever I see it in the dollar bins, I always snag them. Uncanny X-Men, 305, first appearance of the phalanx, or the flanks, or whatever you want to call them. Beautiful John Byrne cover for Wolverine, 23. New Mutants, annual number um, six. X Factor, number um, 15, first appearance of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Kang is hot. Kang is all in a lot of Marvel Marvel comic books. Um, uh, He shows up in so many different iterations. uh, It it isn't funny. Um, But um, this book seemed to be the hot ticket, one of the hot tickets. Avengers number 269, I found an Iron Man 219, first appearance of the Ghost. This Marvel Tales uh, number 201 uh, is a reprint of uh, Marvel Team Up with the um, first appearance of Captain Britain. But what separates this from the original is that it has a secondary story with uh Peter Porker to um, Spider-Ham, and also it's a newsstand. Amazing Spider-Man 282. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, uh, guest star um, Spider-Woman, issue number 126. X-Men 211, first appearance of the Marauders. Uncanny X-Men 215, introducing Stonewall, uh, Super Saber, and uh, Crimson Commando. Found some Todd McFarlane Marvel Tale covers, issue number 228, it's a newsstand. Wolverine, number four, uh, first appearance of Rough House and Bloodsport. Not to be confused with Bloodsport. <laughs> From DC Comics. X Factor Annual Number Three uh, Apocalypse versus the High Evolutionary. Um, and the final book, um, Classic X Men Number 13. And that's it for this bundle of comics. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, wow, it ran 24 minutes. I'm really pushing it, but I'm trying to get them done and over with. And I hope everyone is doing well. I will see you all guys in my next video. So take care.